Hi you guys, it's Christina coming to you guys with another Canva tutorial. I just wanted to do a real quick tutorial on how to add a QR code to your obituary or welcome sign. So I'm going to speed up the process and I'm going to go ahead and use a template that I've already um, mocked up already. So first I'm just simply going to move the different text element out the way so that I'll have space to add my QR code. So with the QR code, I am simply going to make a little border around it. Then I'm going to drop the QR code in there. I want it to go ahead and match with what I already have designed on the trifold obituary. And like I said, this can also be used for, say, a welcome sign to go paperless at a funeral or memorial service. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my border for my QR code. Um, I just simply picked a shape and I'm going to hit shape and I'm going to change the color to the same color to match the template so that the aesthetic is all matching. And if you click shape twice, it'll open up the different shapes that they have available. You can choose whichever shape that you want. I'm just going to simply choose a star shape or something similar to a star shape. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to make the second one white so that it looks like a little border. Um, just trying to make it cute. There's nothing special about the border. You, can, you don't have to double it. You can do it single or not do it at all. I went to apps and I'm simply just going to type in QR code. I'm going to pick just the first plain QR code one because it's already attached to my Canva. I don't have to sign in or create any additional login. So I'm literally going to just pick the basic QR code. They do have more where you can do other things and add different design elements, but this is the basic way. And you see all they're asking for is a URL, which is something that they can link the QR code to. So it has to be a text, to email. It has to be something that it can link the QR code to. So I'm going to use a template that I already created earlier today. And you literally just go, you're going to hit share, and you're going to hit public view link. Yours won't say live. Mine says live because I've already did it today. So I literally just click view, live view. They're going to give you the link. You're going to copy the link. If you want to hit info and learn more about the public live view link, literally hit the information uh, button and Canva gives you more information about it. So I'm going to go back to my template. I'm literally going to just paste it right into the URL. Hit generate code. Now you can change the background and the foreground color. The foreground is going to be the actual color of your QR code. The background color is going to be the background. So because I already created the little outline and it's white, I'm going to just leave the background color white. I'm going to change my foreground color to yellow to match the aesthetic of the program that I'm already working on. Then I'm going to resize it so that it will fit inside of the frame that I have created. After I get it to fit inside, I know that it's inside the frame that I created. I'm simply just going to add text to say, scan here for a digital copy. This way, if someone didn't come or we need extra programs, they're not tracking down and trying to recopy more programs. They literally can just scan it and send it to the person's phone. You can always have it forever. So I'm just going to look through my different fonts. Sometimes I just like to go off what I feel, what I feel, what I think look good. So I do scroll through my fonts and colors and things to play around with the fonts. I'll try a font. Mm, I don't like that one. I'm going to keep scrolling to see if I can find another font that I just happen to just like better and thinks looks good with it. So I'm going to resize it so it also fits inside of my frame. And like I said, I do like to play around with stuff. So now that I got it inside of the frame, I'm going to zoom in so I can see it better. But I'm not really feeling it being at the bottom. And you can see how I'm moving it around, just kind of trying to see what looks better. So I'm ultimately going to decide to put it at the top, inside of still inside the frame, and move down the QR code. It's really just that simple. You got your QR code. You said scan here. Everything is perfect. So now there's nothing left to do, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. That way you can kind of see how it all works. 
So let's give it a try. All right, so I simply just turned my camera on like I was taking a picture and you can see it's already picking it up and it says Canva. You would just hit Canva and when they click it, you'll literally open up straight into the other picture that you had on your other frame. You can literally from that, as you can see, I can just pull up and share it to any of my contacts. It's simple, it's quick, it's easy. They don't have to sign in. Whatever you have in your other Canva that you created the public uh, link to, that's what they're going to see. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and I will answer any questions. But this was just a quick tutorial to simply just show you how to create a cure-all code to add to your obituary or memorial uh, services.